Hey guys, Jesse here from Urban Legends Antiques. I'm on a plane with my chuckles and we're headed towards upstate New York. We're going out there for a wedding. We're gonna do a little thrift store shopping and tour around a little bit. All right, let's get started. We're in Syracuse, New York, our first stop, and we're going to the local Salvation Army. I saw this in San Francisco, well, in the Bay Area. We had organized a bunch of books in a rainbow color. And now it's here in Syracuse, New York. The home edit strikes again. Hi, babe. So while we're hunting for some thrift finds to take home with us, I got a little bit distracted. I saw some toys here for my baby niece. I have never seen American Indie Barbie before. I don't know how to feel about it. She looks just like regular Barbie, but with dark hair. Moving on though, we're in furniture. Found this really cool Moulin Rouge print we were very tempted to buy. And then look at this amazing desk, but it was already sold. But I would have shipped that baby home. It is June, it's wedding month and Father's Day month, but we sell a lot of desks in August, so I was definitely checking the desks out. I have seven siblings, and so I know I'm always talking about my nieces or nephews, but another one of my nephews, we go on the creepy doll hunt with him all the time. He's terrified of these dolls, and we always find them. Some of these dolls that are meant to be Christmas cards or birthday cards are really scary, like super scary. You know I sent him a picture. Will you be my friend? Okay, so now that we've got all of our shenanigans over with and we've sent pictures to nieces and nephews, it's time to get down to some serious thrifting. I saw these cute little apothecary jars and I thought they were perfect to fit in my luggage, so I brought those home with me. Chuck's always looking for what? CDs that I don't have. I know they're outdated, but so am I. Oh, that's way too heavy to take on the plane, but very cute. I was hoping to find some good milk glass up here and I did. This painted paper towel holder is really cool. I just don't know if I can fit it in my luggage or not. I was looking through all the silver to see if they had it, any footed silver servingware dishes and they didn't, but they had this really cool, I think it's like an asparagus or cabbage rose vase, but it was really heavy. I also found these really pretty little brass candle holders. These are kind of hard to find in California. I struggle with finding them and we scored. We found them all over the place in the thrift stores in New York. So I did take a couple of them home. I also found this really unique cornucopia. I was super excited, but when I turned it around, it was cracked on the other side. So I left it. I also found this vintage uh, couple oriental figurines from the 50s. They're really pretty. Some of the paint was chipping off, but I just love the way they looked. I thought they were so unique. And then a couple of rows down. Look at this. I found the yellow set. I Googled them. They're worth between $23 and $30 for the set. So you know they both went in the my cart. I'm taking those home for me. I'm taking my apothecary jars home with me. My milk glass. Chuck told me to put it back. <laughs> Bye, milk glass. Well, Babe, where's the CD player? Where's the CD player? There's no damn CD player. <laughs> There's no CD player? How many CDs did you get for the road trip? I don't know, but I'm going to go to Pet Boys and buy oh. a CD player. <laughs> no CD player. <laughs> right. Thank you, Syracuse. We're on our way to, where are we going? Sackett's Harbor. Sackett's Harbor. Without a CD player. All right, here we go. We're on our way. Sackett's Harbor, here we come. What's this? Comment below if you know what these statues are for. We just saw them really quick. What is that? Is that like an old train depot? Oh, I wonder if those were supposed to be like people shipping out for the war. Wow, look at these buildings. Upstate New York is so quaint and pretty. Everywhere we looked, there were bright red barns, bright green grass. Everyone was like taking really well care of their yards. It was so pretty. The air was fresh. I loved it up there. And this is Sackett's Harbor. We are staying in one of the old military barracks that has been turned into an inn. This is where the War of 1812 was fought. And all of these buildings are old military buildings. So this fireplace I'm showing you is actually the first building that was built there for the military. That was their bakery. 
the lady that gave us a tour said they purposely built the bakery next to the water because the water would freeze and then they would be able to put their meat down into the ice to store it and keep it safe okay wedding time the groom is my nephew here is his beautiful bride and her father <laughs> Okay, it's the day after the wedding and we decided we wanted to do a little sightseeing, a little antique shopping. So we went into Sackett's Harbor first in their little downtown area and I found the coolest antique store in there. It was stuffed to the gills with a bunch of antiques and he has a sign outside that says, we buy antiques. Not we sell antiques, we buy antiques. And you can tell that he's a major collector. He said he has a room in the back that you can't even walk into that is is stuffed to the gills with antiques that he can't even get into and his major goal for the day was to clear out a middle aisle so people could walk down it i didn't even know there was a middle aisle it was just a bunch of stuff piled right there that you couldn't walk through but i made the do with the best i could and i checked everything out where i was able to walk and i'm telling you he had the best stuff it was just hard to get to <laughs> we left seconds harbor and we are now in waterton new york i was only able to convince the guy from the other antique store to sell me one thing at a reasonable price everything else i had to let go so now we are going to do some shopping at the salvation army here let's see what we can find I found these really cool brass candlestick holders. I really like the look of them. I don't know if the base is etched or stamped. I could not find a maker's mark on them. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research, but I really like the look of them. So I put them in the cart and they're gonna come home with me. We are crossing the St. Lawrence River into the area of upstate New York called the Thousand Islands. And it's a group of 1800 islands that straddle the border between Canada and the United States. We were told by a local that we needed to check out the Bolt Castle and the Bolt Yacht House, which is where we're going. It's like someone's backyard. How many boats do they have parked on their backyard? Look at that life. This is the Bolt Yacht House, and we're going to take a tour of the Yacht House, and later we're going to catch a ferry over to Bolt Castle. These jacks bring the boats out of the water, and you hand turn them, which brings these guys up. These metal things. This is the caretaker's residence for the old yacht house. I mean, not bad for a caretaker's house, right? What do you think, babe? Look at this. Right? Look at all this carved wood. Not bad. This is a big screen TV. <laughs> and then look at this view. Oh, that's that house with all the yachts we were looking at earlier. I guess millionaires still live here. That's where the boss calls him. <laughs> that's where we're going. We took the ferry across and now we are touring the grounds of Bolt Castle. We are in the basement area of the castle, just having a look around. It's really, really gorgeous. I love all of the brickwork. This is the finished levels of the Bolt Castle. They were not finished by Mr. Bolt. Um, his wife passed. So a lot of the carved details were done by craftsmen. And then after Mr. Bolt's wife passed, he abandoned the mansion. Now the Thousand Island Transit Authority has taken over the castle and the care and restoration of the castle. I believe they took it over in the 70s and have been working on it since then. Mrs. Bolt loved to dance, so Mr. Bolt created this beautiful grand ballroom for her to dance in. 
Now we're gonna head upstairs though, so you can see what it looked like when the Long Island Transit Authority took it over. It's in shambles and there's a discussion of are they gonna continue to renovate floor by floor or are they going to leave some of it as is? So you can see the state it was in when the Long Island Transit Authority took it over. That's all for this video. Stay tuned. We are going to post a part two when we head into Jacksonville, Florida. I'm Jesse from Urban Legends Antiques and thanks for coming along for the ride. Bye, you guys. We got to catch a plane. We're heading to Jacksonville for Creative Con Live.